This is a snake, an albino monocled cobra. Photos snapped by the owner of this home and this dog, Tico, a whippet who is unquestionably one lucky dog. He was bit by the cobra, but experts say since 17% of their bites are non-venomous, he was one of the lucky ones. Neighbors, though, not so happy. You a little freaked out? Yes, just a yeah, little. A lot freaked out? A lot freaked out. Really? Yes, yes. I think it's unsettling and very scary. In the last hour, a team of animal control officers showed up with gear, saying the snake may be from a local home, but no one at this point is fessing up. As for the snake and its bite... It's like a rattlesnake bite. You go to the hospital real fast. Jules Sylvester, who works with snakes in TV shows and movies, was asked by Animal Control to help them in their hunt. He says the snake is likely hiding under something, so we saw them flipping logs and looking through brush. The snake may be hiding, he says, but eventually his white color may work against him. Well, it's got to eat, but the trouble is it's got to come out to eat. When it comes out to eat, it either gets spotted, either by humans or uh, birds of prey or anything else like that. He eats rats and mice and other snakes. Dog got bit on Monday. I saw it yesterday. That's neighbor Rick Eddy. He's philosophical about the creepy crawly. For me, you know, uh, snakes will let you know either stay away or hello or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you better have some brains to either leave it alone or, or catch it or whatever you want to do with it. Other neighbors, a little more freaked out. It's kind of nerve-wracking knowing there's a snake going around. That could kill us. Exactly. <laughs>